This video may single-handedly get my memory card revoked. They're like, ah, give me my memory card back. Your takes are such hot garbage. You don't deserve to be in the community. Okay, okay, okay. But today's video, we're going to be doing the memory tier list of every single main character, okay? Mario's considered a main character, I guess. No, not other characters. We'll do that next time. Also, if you if you can't take hot takes, you, you better log off right fucking now. Because we're about to get spoiled. Spicy. Anyways, first up on the tier, I want to go with Kel, because Kel is very easy to knock out. Both of his counterparts are S tier. Enough said. They're not really too different from each other, I guess. His real counterpart, but put him over here. His real counterpart is just is just better, I guess, because he's more fleshed out. He has more story. He has more dialogue, I guess you would say. I guess depending on which route you go down, right? Um. Yeah, I mean, they're both really just generally the same. I guess he's a little bit more mature at the end of the day, but there's not too much difference between Kel. He's taller. You know, you get the whole scene where if you where if you go up to Mari's gravestone, I think on what day two, and you talk, you get oh, you know, you know, I'm not really seen as like the bigger brother. My parents, you know, you get like this whole backstory about Kel. I think his real counterpart's better than his headspace, but his headspace is still like the exact same in my opinion. He's just a goofy little goofball, loves annoying Aubrey, and being mischievous and everything. A little, little devious guy, if you want to say so myself. He he's just an amazing character. I don't like why anyone would put him below S or even A for that matter, but. People hate on him for some reason. I don't know. I, I like him. Next up, we got Real World Aubrey. I think she's A tier. I'm going to explain why. <laughs> a lot of people would put her in immediately in S. I'm not one of those people because there's just a lot of things I just disagree that she does throughout the game. In her, in her head, but obviously, bullying Basil is the main one. She, but people are like, oh, she, you know, she was dealing with a lot of stuff. Her, her parents, you know, she doesn't have a father. She gets all this. But it's like, if you're friends, you know, if you haven't seen your friends in a while, why why are you bullying one of them I, and people forget this too basil was originally friends with aubrey before anybody else and the and vice versa like aubrey and basil were like friends before they even met the group so i don't really understand why aubrey did any of that shit that she did maybe there's something i'm missing in the story but for me when you push when your old best friends into a river and you know he can't swim and say it's an accident but you push him like a fucking nasa takeoff mission like she shoves him pretty fucking hard too uh, and, and then she bullies him throughout the game because she scribbled over Mari, which I understand you get angry, but that wasn't right. Like, I, I, you lose sympathy for me a little bit, but I will give her cre credit where it's due. Her, her character arc is fucking amazing, considering when you go to her house, my jaw fucking dropped and I realized, oh, she doesn't have a father figure. Oh, I guess that explains a lot. Her mother's just an abusive, uncaring, ignorant you know mother i guess like she doesn't it doesn't look like she cares. it looks like aubrey has to be the adult at like a kid age like that type of complex you have um that's about it actually i i, I guess i kind of went over a character a lot right there you know then she gets made fun about the church and then that, that, that really tears it and then eventually she's like she comes around she's like oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry guys for being such a fucking dickhead about everything you know she gets an a tier for me she's not s because of the stuff she does to basil because i just disagree with it it just doesn't make sense of why she would do it Oh, because because oh, only only because you know she she thought they they forgot about her how does that explain shoving someone in a river who can't or pond or lake whatever the fuck you call it who can't swim and could literally fucking die <laughs> like it doesn't and she doesn't even jump in after him either so a tier i'm gonna avoid headspace aubrey for one second why i rank basil headspace basil is b tier why do i think he's b tier he doesn't do too much until like day one of a Hikikomori road if you play the Switch version because you can actually play as him. He gets taken away from most of the game, but he still has a pretty... He's, his character's okay. I don't really... His character doesn't annoy me, but he doesn't be like, oh my god, it's Basil. Like he has a purpose, and the purpose is to find him. He's nice. He's cool. I enjoy his little, little, his little rant about like the flowers and everything. You know, it's, it's just Sonny's representation of him at this age, so... Not too much to say. I don't think he's like... You could put him in C. I could see him as a C. I'm gonna put him in B tier because I kind of like him. A little bit just because of the day one Switch version. You could play as him and all that bullshit. He's, he's, he's cool. He's cool. <laughs> Real world Basil. Oh, shit. This is the first controversial take that I see either 50-50 split on. D tier. I don't like him. I think he's too much of a bitch. He lets Aubrey do literally anything she wants to him and I, I don't understand why I, I know basil you you really like all you just want her to do anything you want to you it's a joke guys calm down in the community but he just he kind of lets Aubrey shove him like 15 feet in the fucking like oh i forgive you Aubrey. like no <laughs> why oh she was bullying me for like years like he's such a, like a little a little bitch about it like i don't know what to say uh, he's social anxiety he can't fight like he doesn't attempt to do anything it's just it's not for me. His character's not for me. People think he's S tier. 
sure, man. If that's what you want to put him as, go right ahead. I, I don't see him that way. I think he's D because he's too much of a bitch to, to do anything in the game. He just... He, I mean, Omo Cat described him best. Of like, when she's attempting to draw him, just draw someone who looks like he's on the verge of tears always. He's just, he's just a bitch at the end of the day to me. That's why he is. But she's not worse than Headspace Aubrey, who's left here. <laughs> that's why I avoided her for a little bit. Headspace Aubrey, in my opinion, is the worst main character of this entire tier list. Maybe Mari, but only because Mari, you barely get to know anything about her. I wouldn't even consider that being worse. It's just you don't get enough thing of her, but Headspace Aubrey is the most annoying, pretentious character you will, I have ever seen in this game. People say she's confident in that. Confident in what? Her ability to be the worst fucking character on my tier list? I guess. She, all she does is complain about Kel, calls him a prick at the beginning of the game, and then she wonders why Kel is acting like this. Kel annoys her out of the fun of it, and she takes it offensively. She's nonsensically, romantically hopeless for Mori. That's her whole character, by the way. It's just, oh, everyone, you know, I, I annoy everyone, but I love Amori. Like, even hero comments in the game, how, like, you know, Aubrey, can you, like, settle down a little? Because even hero thinks she's a little bit annoying. Like, when you got a hero thing and you're annoying, you're doing something wrong. She's F tier. I mean, shout out to Aubrey, though, for being a really early game, nice hit, early hitter with headbutt. She saves a lot of runs, I guess. That's, that's like, all I could say about her. I don't think she's all that. She also makes you fucking fight Sweetheart, but then again, Kel makes you fight Space Boy with all that nonsense. F tier. I don't really, I don't like her character whatsoever. I think she's way too damn annoying. That's it. She's just really annoying to me. Headspace Hero, I think. I want to put him as B tier, but... Yeah, I'll put him as, I was gonna I was gonna say maybe C, but I'm gonna say B because I, he's not so much different from his real world counterpart, but his real world counterpart obviously has way more story behind him. Headspace is just Sunny's representation of him. I there's not too much to say on him other than he's just a nice guy. He's he has a look he's a little funny sometimes, and he has like the dialogue where he's like, Oh, Kellen Arbery, let's chillax for a second. That's it. There's not too much. Maybe you can put him in C tier, I'm gonna put him in B because I I he, he I like him a little bit, you know, he, he's the healer of the group, he's, he's the adult, he makes sure everything's like going at least a little okay, such as that, real world hero S tier, like, get your fucking fine ass in S tier, he's 19, I can say whatever the fuck I want about him, he, he's just, he's the best guy, he saves Sunny, he makes sure the group is like, you know, he really is the one that like, you know, combines the group back there, he makes you like, Kel, you know, let's go get Aubrey, like, this is Sunny's last day, come on, we all, we all have to get together again, like, he, he's just an amazing, he's amazing brother to Cal. He's just really cool. I, I, I don't really have anything negative to say. I think he's like the only character on this tier list I can't say anything negative about. I guess and Mari. Because what, what is there to negative to say about him? I mean, he's, he's, the, he, he's, a found, he's, he's a strong foundation for your group. S tier. He's a college student. You know, he does all that. Easy. Mari, C tier. Uh, you can put her in S tier if you really want. I say C because I don't get enough of a story from her. Because only you only see her good parts. You never see any other part about her in the story whatsoever. She's just C tier for me, I guess. All she does is say get a picnic. She's nice. So if you want to put her in S tier, A, B, because she's nice, sure. Anything below that, I won't understand because you don't you don't get enough from her because she's fucking dead. Like you don't get enough from her. She's C tier, but not in a bad way. She's not a C tier mid type way, just C tier, because I don't know too much about her. I, 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 maybe I just don't rank her that mid. C tier. And my last two are some of the most dog shit takes I've seen in a while these characters. First of all, Sonny is S tier. I don't know why people put him below S tier at any, at, at any point. He's the main character. You play through the game and you understand him the most. You, especially the people who cried at final duet and all the ending. Why are you putting him below S tier? That means you felt something about the connection between him and Mari. Then, like, I don't understand how people are putting him below S tier, any or at least A tier at the very least. Like, some people put him as like a D tier character. Like, are you serious? Because he doesn't say anything. That doesn't make that doesn't make sense whatsoever. The whole game is based around him. You feel for him at the end of the game. You know, he's a really good listener to I think what based on the entire group. Everyone in this friend group loves him. They consider him like the baby of the group. And like. Yes, he, he killed Mari, but he's a fucking 12-year-old kid who didn't know any better, bro. And he's not even the one who suggested hanging Mari in the first place. So, <laughs> I don't I don't understand why people really dislike his character. I think he's an amazing character overall. I mean, all the Headspace ca characters should be lower than their other counterparts, too. So, all the real world characters are just super fleshed out. They all have their unique backstories of why they, what makes them them. Except Bay is always just a pussy, I guess. <laughs> at the end of the day. But Sunny, 
I probably didn't explain him as much because he the whole game is based around him. If you just play the game, you'd understand him. I guess the best way. If you're watching this, you've probably played the game. You just want to hear me rant about why I like or dislike character. Like, oh, why is Headfree all be F tier and why is Basil D tier? Well, I told you. And Amori, fucking S tier, obviously. I mean, I think he's the best character in the entire game, honestly, because you again, he's something you play as. And he has one. He, he was made for one thing by Sunny. Stop Sunny from ever telling the truth, not knowing the truth, but telling the truth. That's why at the end of the game. He says all that that hurtful thing to Sonny because he's like, Sonny, look, this is what's going to happen most likely if you tell the truth. Don't do it. So he's like, you know, you're less than less. You, I'm not going to say all that to issue two fucking warns me for saying hateful speech because I've gotten a warning like that before. But especially down the Hikikomori route, he, he, like his abilities too are fucking amazing. I, I love everything about just Omori in general. The whole black space segment, the whole... You know, he, he tries to, she tries to, like, push Basil away, so he's, like, because Basil is somewhat connected to, like, knowing the truth, so he kind of, like, shuns Basil away for the majority of the game. He doesn't say anything. I just, I don't know, I can't explain his character, bro. Like, I just, I love Amori. I think Amori is probably the best character in the whole game next to, next to any one of these, I guess, or Sunny. But I, I honestly think Amori is just, he's a good character. He, he was made for one simple reason. You're not allowed to tell the truth, Sunny. And Sonny does not anyway. And then at the end of the game, I'm always kind of like, well, I've done all I possibly could. It is up to you now, my friend. And he kind of like fades into Sonny. He doesn't go away. People think he goes away. I don't think he goes away. I think he fades into Sonny showing that, you know, you can't you can't erase him. You can't ever kill him. That's why at the end of the game, he's like, Amori will not succumb or something like that. Because it shows you that you can never kill him, but uh, but you have to just, he just accepts him. Sonny just eventually accepts him. He's like, I can't remove this part of my life anymore. It's over, that's why. And even at the end of the game, it feels like Amori is trying one last helpful grab when you see the headspace characters run towards the door and Sunny looks at them. He's like, Amori's like, come on, Sunny, please just listen to me. I'm, I'm trying to help you, man. I'm trying to help. Sunny's like, no, can't do it. Sunny, I, Amori's not a bad character by any means whatsoever. In terms of his writing and in terms of, you know, good and evil, I think he's a good character. He, had, he has good intentions for what Sunny made him to do, right? But yeah, this is my tier list. I don't, like, please let me know how wrong I am about the Aubrey placement. I don't think anyone else is going to disagree with any of these placements. Maybe besides Basil and Aubrey. Mari, if you heard my explanation, I think everyone would agree. Because you don't too, know too much about her. Yeah, the fact that anyone would put Sunny, Amori, or Kel below S tier is beyond me. Especially if you've cried at Final Duet. Why are you putting Sunny below S tier? You feel for him, right? But anyways, man, that's about it for this video about wrapping it up. Please let me know how wrong I am. Here you go. There's your screenshot for Twitter posting on Twitter posting on TikTok posted anywhere you fucking want to say, ah, oh, look at this dude's dog shit opinions. I know, I know, but you know, the outros go bless up, peace, cuties, emperors out. I daily upload every day, so we stick around. Go ahead. Bye.